Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate you. If you're not new, you know you're part of the what? Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. Grateful gang, gang, gang. Grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're not a part of Grateful Gang, we'd love to have you over here, honey. We do budgeting, specifically digital budgeting. I'm a single budgeter on a moderate income. We ain't going to call it low. We're on our way. We're trying to get there. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. So we're going to be doing digital budgeting on Google Sheets. Uh, we do the paycheck to paycheck budgets. We do the credit card reconciliations, the allocation of the paycheck, the close out of the paycheck, anything you're talking about, we're doing it. And right now we're adding back sinking funds and saving trackers or shaving challenges, trackers, same difference. That is what today's video is on. We're trying to be a well-rounded, show you how to do it if you like the digital budgeting, make it fun. So let's go. If any of that, you know, feels like it's you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you're not and you still like it go ahead and give me that thumbs up i appreciate you talk to me in the comments y'all talk to me nice okay so let's get started this is again a new spreadsheet that we're working on that i got from that same seller so <clears throat> i started <laughs> let me make this bigger day can't y'all can't see that what tara what Okay, so this is the first sheet, and I went ahead and filled it out myself because I know y'all ain't trying to y'all ain't trying to be here with me all day. This is the saving spreadsheet, <clears throat> and this includes your type of your fund. Your this has, I believe, you can save for twenty funds or twenty five funds. So we have the fund name, the goal amount, the start amount in your account, and the goal month that you like to hit it and it automatically calculates how much you would need to save in order to get there in that time well i just kind of made some of the things up at this point now these three in purple are highlighted by me because they're the ones we're really going to be focusing on working but i'll go through them with you really quickly now and let y'all know what we start where we're at where we're starting with so emergency fund we want a goal of $3,000. That's the main one we're working with. The reason $3,000, because I make about $14.25, somewhere around there, and let's call it times two, that's $28.50. So I figure we round up and I want to have at least a month of expenses, all the expenses, not just like specific over the hill, over the, you know, what are those things called? Four walls expenses. I want all of it. So I figured I'd try and save $3,000 and that'll be the minimum basic starting point for me. Um, we have health as well, and we already have $2,349 in there. With health as well, we have household bulk toiletries, beauty, and my humble home. These are more of our revolving accounts, but I put that we wanted like 1000 to 500 in each of them and what they started with. New appliances and new HVAC is a new category, you all. So there is a category because... Um, I need new appliances and the man who came to look at my AC this summer said that he don't know if he's going to make it till next summer, but God knows. So I figured God's going to help me regardless. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm helping myself, he'll help me get through whatever. So new appliances, I want to save about $4,000 and pray none of them completely crap out by then. And then $6,000 for the HVAC. There's not nothing really in those accounts because I just renamed some older accounts that I wasn't using. We have members only, which is actually already funded, which is on my membership. We have Pimp My Ride, which is my car. We have $459 in there, but I like to have at least a thousand because we know tires and things like that are not cheap, even though my car is new. Things can still happen. So and my car does come with like two years of service. So as far as like oil changes and things like that, that's free. So I don't have to worry about it. Born day, um, birthday stuff. I would love to have $500 and there's only 140, 124. It was for me, but I've been using it for other people's birthdays, which is fine too. My HOA, I wanted to save the year's worth and that's 534 and we have that already. Trash sewer, I would love to have $400 because technically the trash bill is usually about, let's say $95 times each quarterly, 380. We only have about one more month of it left in here prepaid. So it would have been nice to get there. Build a buffer is I wanted $250 in there. 
it already has $250 in there. At some point when I get to a better space, I hope to be um, putting up to like 500 to 1000 but that's not where we're at right now. Zero, zero out challenge. I'd love to have that 500 We have 199 in there right now. IRS slash tax money. I would love to have 600 because I feel like I'm always owing about $600. But we have two thirty seven fifty five in there now, which is better than nothing. Escrow, I would love to have about thousand dollars in there. I think what happened to me this year with the escrow, which I owed like seventeen something, will not happen to me next year. But just in case, but we only have fifteen something in there. We have Merry Christmas. There's only a thirty dollars in there. I need another zero on that. Okay, it's, I would love to have about three to five hundred, but on the lower end, three hundred. Treat your friends. I would love to have 300 soliciting and treat your friends and treat yourself. I'm in the 20s right now. We out is supposed to be, let me just do travel. And I would love to have a thousand so I can visit my friends in Jersey. We don't really have anything in there. Clothing head, I would love to have 600, but they're only $14 in there. And I would love to have 500 for my niece. And it's really Ray Bay slash um, Miles, which is my niece and my nephews. My favorite ones, that's not nice to say, but um, and plus they say not to them in the Bible that cause a lot of confusion. However, those two are they're the youngest kind of, so I would love to say for them, and they don't really have any money. So with all that being said, the only ones that I'm really focusing on that actually have money going in right now are actually these. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this purple too, because these are a part of these other ones here are part of like wealth bulk tree's beauty and now my humble home is not a part of the sinking fund it's i don't know what the other one is that's a part of the sinking fund but it must not be up here health hold on hold on y'all oh i'm tripping it's it's emergency fund <laughs> emergency fund health household beauty they are part of the normal rotation but i will be changing that as well and these two are new so those are these are all the funds i have but these are the five that i'm currently i love to throw some money here as well but these are the i'm gonna make it because i want to speak that into existence these are the ones that I would like to really focus on right now. Everything else is going to have to do what it do, okay? So after filling in all this information, then I go to the log. If I ever add money, we'll be back here together towards the end of July when we can add whatever we added or we might add it as we do per paycheck. Not 100% sure yet, but savings, here's the actual spreadsheet. So here you'll see that I have 2000 <laughs> <laughs> my goal is $24,534. I need a whole nother job. And then I have $5,718 actually saved, um, total saved, total starting with. And I guess this would change. I'm assuming the starting with would stay the same. And as we add, the total save would change. And then um, left to save is $18,815.20. This is how each sinking fund looks. I love that it's like a circle that's tracking. Y'all know I love my circles um, and arches and things. So this is the emergency fund, health as well. And this one's almost closed, which is nice. Um, it does show you how much I would need. So in order to get to this in the five months that I put, which is the end of the year, I would need to put $130 every paycheck. I'm sorry, every month. So that's what, 60 something, $70 every, what, what, what was that? What was that? $65 every paycheck, which we don't know how that's going to happen. And then this is what the rest of them look like. Now, some of them are closed because, like I said, membership has already has all his money. Um, HOA has all the money. Saving Build Your Buffer has all the money. So some of them are nicely closed, which is amazing. However, let me bring you now to the portion where I tell you how I plan on saving sort of so we're back over here on my paycheck to paycheck budget and here are my trackers so these trackers are actually trackers that i had purchased a while ago from angelica's from the trackers corner angelica the trackers corner i'll leave the links to these i made it easy for myself by putting the links here but i'll leave the link to her etsy shop and this specific sheet if you're interested it was a printable and i just kind of um downloaded it it was a downloadable downloaded and put it in my google so this is beautiful to me i love it how all the colors already go kind of with my budget 
And this is how she's saving $2,000. Every time you could put $25 away, there's a lot of times, but it's nice because it's a smaller amount. It's $25. So my plan for that is right now my sinking funds is $60 and I have it 15, 15, 15, 15, right? That goes to health, the emergency fund, um, beauty, and what's the last one? Household, right? So instead of doing that, in order to hit my $25, I'm going to do $25 to the emergency fund. And then I'm going to do $25 to either health or household, because I feel like household is always something. And then we'll do $10 no lies. I'm going to, sorry, $25 to the emergency fund so we can hit our $25 in this saving. 15 to either health or household, and then 10 to the other two. So we'll still be at $60. It'll just be allocated a little differently. And every time I do $25, I can come in here and I can, you know, highlight it as done, which makes it interactive for me, which makes it fun for me. Now, my first goal, because I already have 2000 something dollars in here, 2334.94 would be to hit the 675. And yes, we would do it. But I want, once I hit the 675, I'll feel good, but I still would like to keep adding the $25 so we get to the full 2000. Then the next one is for the appliances. I just took that same 2000 tracker and doubled it. This is just here for pretty um, and the amount. So I did that. And then this ends at 4,000. Again, it's just 25, 25, 25. This one and the HVAC, the HVAC is actually 40. So I don't know where I'm coming up with this additional $60 or whatever. Of course, I'll be trying to do more all the time. But um, this one is actually for 6000 So I could have done 2000 to 4000 and then 6000 and we did it. But this is the way I've done it. And then every time I get up to that amount, I can go ahead and just highlight it. Um, the only thought that I have, you guys, to make this work is either to look for a part-time job. Outside of like the emergency fund, I kind of figured that one out to get my $25, but I'd like to add a little faster to get to the goal a little faster. Now, I am going to start back. I don't want to say it no more because I feel like I say it all the time, but I don't do it. But I did just I did just sell some pillows on Poshmark and it kind of put me back into the swing of things. I spent $27 on those pillows. Y'all saw that in my budget and I made back like 80 something dollars. So I made a profit and I can put that back into these saving challenges. So I do want to start, I would like to start um, posting back on Poshmark because I already have inventory here and trying to make some extra money that way. Outside of that, I would have to like try and find a part-time job that works with my schedule, which I really don't want to do. But you know, there's that. So if you want to help me on it anyway, guys, watch this video, give it a thumbs up, get me up to a thousand. And then I also need watch hours. So if you just run my playlist in the background on silent overnight, that would help. Tell your friend and tell a friend. Let's get this channel monetized. I'm not really sure if that's going to bring us any extra money, but hey, it doesn't hurt to ask. We're almost at a thousand. We're almost at 4,000 watch hours. Anything you can do will help. But that's it, you guys. That's all I wanted to show y'all that we're starting our sinking fund journey tracking again i do like now that we have an actual tracker that's working beautifully so sometime a tragedy of me deleting my whole entire spreadsheet is although it's a process to learn everything again is becoming very good i feel like these spreadsheets are allowing me to be a lot more detailed in my budgeting but that's all i have today you guys thanks so much for watching remember in order to be great you have to be grateful i'm super duper grateful for you have a wonderful blessed day and excuse me oh excuse me remember it's faith over fear this year you're not baby it's faith over fear this year but not just this year but what forever 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 ever 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 forever, ever, forever, ever. bye jessians